Hey there, it's Tim Chidiata. And it's Paul Caradonna. And we're here for your Saturday market wrap. So today in our core area, we have, there were two scheduled auctions at 7 Pamela Place Concord that was passed in with no bids. And 12 Tennyson Road in Concord also was withdrawn. Yeah, so obviously no results at that auction today, but in our core area, it's not a reflection on how it's going. Uh, today our office had 20 open for inspections. We met 99 buyers to be exact. Um, and there's a lot of activity and buzz there. We had some offers on some properties. And in particular, over the Easter breakaway, we saw quite a few properties. In fact, this month we've actually sold 10 properties, bringing our total up to 30 for the year. Um, and you know, they went from waterfront properties, two-story homes, single-level homes, townhouses, apartments, etc. Our last uh, few sales, well, one of them was a property in Riverview Street in Concord, selling for 2425000 Fantastic result. And a townhouse that Paul sold recently. Yeah, that was in Bayard Street in Moorlake, so that's all just under 1.1. Yeah, so fantastic results. I guess out there in the marketplace, what I'm seeing in particular is there's less supply out there, particularly, I think, because our owners are waiting for the election on the 18th of May to see what happens and possibly put their properties on the market, which has resulted to a bit more uh, demand out there uh, because of less supply. And we're actually seeing more properties transact, put, being put under contract prior to auction or actual auction results. Uh, we launched quite a few properties to the market this week, but our standard open for inspections were two in particular, Paul. It's about 20 Park Avenue in Concord, so that had uh, just under 20, I think it was about 15 groups. Yep. And then we had 46 Gallery Street, which had 20 groups come through. So fantastic numbers, great buzz. Um, so that's what's happening out there in the marketplace. And also, maybe touch base a bit about what buyers are doing. What we're now seeing is we're actually seeing buyers say, we want to buy this property, but the bank needs to see our, our signed contract for a cooling off period. That's how our loan will be approved. Mm -hmm. So a bit of a change in the, in the, in the finance world. So we're seeing a bit more cooling off periods on the private treaty properties. So it also makes sense sometimes to go to auction so you have that unconditional sale. I'm Dim Chidiak, Paul Caradonna. I look forward to seeing you next week.